Hey guys, it's Russ Knight with another fantastic chemistry video. And today, I'm going to go over nomenclature of bicyclic systems. So without any further ado, let's just get after it. There are three types of bicyclic systems, fused, bridged, and spiro. Spiros are rare, but kind of cool. First of all, fused bicyclic systems. Let's talk a little bit about those. How do I know if a system is fused bicyclic? Well, here's one ring and here's another, and they're bonded together somehow like that, okay? They're directly bonded together. A bridged bicyclic system, is, it's a cousin, if you will, has a ring right here and a ring right there, and this is called a bridged bicyclic because they have a carbon up here. So this carbon and this carbon are attached through this CH2 here, through this bridging carbon here, Notice the fused bicyclic does not have a bridge. It's a direct connection from here to here, okay? A spirocyclic has both rings attached at the same carbon. Very rare, but very interesting, okay? So bicyclic, a fused bicyclic. There is no bridge between this carbon and this carbon. They are directly connected through a sigma bond. Fused bicyclic. Now let's look at the name. Bicyclo square bracket four four point four point zero square bracket decane. What how do what hmm what? Very simple naming system actually. It's actually it looks very complicated. It's actually one of the more simple ones. Watch this. Count carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten carbons in this bicyclic system. So that's a decane, right? Okay, it's a decane. Notice decane because there's 10 carbons in the system. There's 10 carbons in the system. And it's a bicyclo system. It's bicyclical, so it's called bicyclo. And between here and here, square brackets. In the bicyclo system, there's always three numbers. Always three numbers. Start here. Count to the left. One, two, three, four, back. Now, these carbons are special. These are what we call bridgehead carbons. All right? The bridgehead carbons are not counted in these numbers here. They are for the overall name. They are for the overall name. But they're not counted. When I go to the left, I don't count the bridgehead. One, two, three, four, don't count the bridgehead. Four, point. One, two, three, four. Four, point. How many carbons between five and ten? Zero. There aren't any. So it's bicyclo. Square bracket, four point, four point zero, because there's no carbons between. Decane. Let's apply that same theory to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons are involved in this bicyclic system. So it's a heptane. It's a heptane. Now, it's also a bicyclo. Oops. Find the bridgeheads. Well, they're circled for us in this one, so they're here and they're here, okay? Count to the left. One, two. Count to the right. One, two. And then count between. One. All right, so that's how you do it. Bicyclo, square bracket, 2.2.1, closed square bracket, heptane. Pretty simple. This one. Now this one's a spiro. So let's number the carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is a nonane. Nonane. It's a spiro. Now again, this is our bridgehead. One, two, three, four. So it's going to be four. Ugh. Keep it up. Keep it up. Here we go. 
So this one's going to be Spyro 4498. I'm not even going to bother anymore. <laughs> I'm so frustrated with this thing sometimes. So now, not that important to know the Spyro ones. These other two are the most important. So make sure you can do those two. This one's a Spyro 4498. There is no, there's no uh, third number required because Spyros, there's no chance that there's anything between them uh, because they're, they're all connected at the same carbon. That's what makes them Spyro. All right. Here's another couple of examples of bicyclic systems. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is an octane. It's a bicyclo, if you will. Uh, this is a bridgehead, and this is a bridgehead. So three and four don't get counted in the uh, when we go to left, right, and top, right? So from here, one, two, three, four. From here, one, two. Between the two, zero. Pretty straightforward, I think, right? This one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this one's eight. Okay, so this is an octane. From the bridgeheads, one, two, three, one, two, and one. Notice the numbers go in descending order. I always go left, right, then top, but the numbers here always go in descending order, so biggest to smallest, always. Here's a couple for you to try. Oops. Here's a couple for you guys to try. Uh, let me draw this one a little better for you guys. Oops, I can, I can do better than this, sorry. I can do much better than this. Guys, I'm really sorry. I'm taking forever to draw these, but they're, they're kind of hard to draw for me on this system. I guess that works. There we go. And another one. Something like that. Not the best drawing in the world, but I think you guys can manage. So name those four, and uh, let's talk about it in class and see how you do. All right. Now with that, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon.